Hello everyone, I'm Ben 580 welcoming you to a new episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Lore. Last time we went through all the badges and some specific things that you have to go through in order to get them. This episode, we're gonna go through another part of the journal, the recipes. I got all 57 of them and it's not so hard to get uh, so long as you have a lot of money and time on your hands. It took me around 5 hours to get all of them and we only had 3 to begin with. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna start going through them. I'm gonna go through them by type, not by ABC, just by type. Different types, but yeah, there you go. So we're gonna start off with a shroom fry, a tasty dish made by Zest Tea, replenishes 6 HP and 2 FP, made by cooking a mushroom or a super shroom. Shroom roast, replenishes 15 HP and 5 FP, made by cooking a live shroom or a slow shroom. Just that. A tasty uh, uh, shroom steak, a tasty dish made by Sess T, replenishes 30 HP and 10 FP, made by cooking an ultra shroom. Honey shroom, dessert made by Sess T, replenishes 5 HP and 5 FP, made by mixing a mushroom with a honey syrup. Maple, maple shroom, made by mixing a mushroom with a maple syrup. Jelly shroom, made by mixing a mushroom with a jamming jelly. Uh, honey super, <clears throat> made by mixing a super shroom with a honey syrup. A maple super, made by mixing a super shroom and a maple syrup. A jelly super, made by mixing a super shroom and a jam and jelly. Honey ultra, replenishes 50 and 5th and 5 FP, made uh, by mixing a halt an ultra shroom with honey syrup. Maple ultra, made by mixing an ultra shroom with a maple syrup. Jelly ultra, made by mixing an ultra shroom with a jam and jelly. Uh, Sazener, a tasty meal made by Zesty, replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP, made by mixing a mushroom with a horse tail. Pretty much, except for the fact horse tails are not so common, so you can also use tartly leaves. Sess Special, made by mixing an ultra shroom with a slow shroom. Sess Deluxe, made by mixing a golden leaf with a waka bump. Spaghetti, <laughs> made by cooking fresh pasta. Cupasta, made by mixing fresh pasta with a turtly leaf. Spicy Pasta, made by mixing fresh pasta and hot sauce. Ink pasta, made by mixing and cooking fresh pasta and inky sauce. Spicy soup, made by cooking a fire flower. Fried egg, made by cooking a mystic egg. An omelette meal, made by mixing a mysterious egg with a horse tail. Koopa bun, dumpling made by Sess Tea, replenishes 15 HP, uh, 15 FP, made by mixing a turtley leaf with a kill mango. A healthy salad, made by mixing a turtley leaf with a horse tail. I don't remember what I did for this one. Uh, it was totally leaf with something else, but I don't remember having a horse tail with it. Maybe put a thing over here. And if not, I'll put it as an annotation. Sorry. Meteor meal. Food that refills H uh, 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. Made by mixing a shooting star with a shrimp fry. Couple's cake. Food that, can slow uh, that slowly refills HP. You can't eat it alone. Made by mixing a snow bunny with a spicy soup. Moose cake, a cake made by ZST, replenishes 15 HP, made by cooking cake mix. A shroom cake, a uh, cake made by ZST, replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP, made by uh, mixing a mushroom with cake mix. Co Choco cake, made by, uh, replenishes 5 HP, uh, 15 FP, made by mixing cake mix with an inky sauce. Heartful cake, made by mixing cake mix and ruin powder. Fruit Parfait, replenishes 10 HP and 2 FP, made by mixing a kill mango with a peachy peach. Mango Delight, made by mixing a kill mango with cake mix. Love Pudding, made by mixing a mystic egg with a mango delight. Says Cookie, made by mixing cake mix and gradual syrup. Shroom Crepe, uh, made by mixing an ultra shroom with cake mix. Then we got a peach tart, a zesty dessert, makes you electrified, dodgy or sleepy, made by mixing cake mix with a peachy peach. Koopa tea, replenished 7 FP, made by st uh, steeping a turtly leaf. Sess tea, um, <laughs> get it? Sess tea, replenishes 20 FP, made by steeping a golden leaf. Shroom broth, broth brewed by Sess tea, gradually replenishes HP, made by mixing a slow shroom with a golden leaf. Fresh juice, made by steeping honey syrup. Inky sauce, made by mixing hot sauce with a turtle leaf. Icicle pop, made by mixing honey syrup with an ice storm. And then we got a Cez Frappe, made by mixing maple syrup with an ice storm. Snow Bunny, made by mixing a golden leaf and an ice storm. Candy, made by Zesty with a cocoa candy, made by mixing a coconut with cake mix. 
Honey candy made by, uh, made by mixing honey syrup with cake mix. You got jelly candy made by mixing jam and jelly with a cake mix. An electro pop made by mixing cake mix with a bolt shroom. Fire pop made by mixing cake mix with a fire flower. Space food made by mixing a dried bouquet with various foods. Anything that replenishes health will make a space food. Be it a mushroom, spaghetti, pasta, I mean fresh pasta, or anything that replenishes health really will make space food with a dried bouquet. Poison shroom, a snack made by Zesty. Eat it and it'll poison you. Made by mixing a slow shroom with inky sauce. Trial stew, amazing food made by Zesty. Yields incredible results made by mixing couple's cake with a poison shroom. Hard food made by Zest Tea, throw it to attack an enemy. Courage meal, made by mixing Courage Shell with a Zest Dinner. Coconut Bomb, an explosive made by Zest Tea, throw it to attack an enemy, made by mixing a coconut with Fire Flower. Egg Bomb, made by mixing a Mystic Egg with a flyer fl Fire Flower. And Zest Dynamite is made by mixing an Egg Bomb with a Coconut Bomb. And finally, you got a mistake. Made by mixing incompatible ingredients, or just cooking and attack items don't really bode well. So um, that's it, those are the recipes, and now before I go and leave you from this, I will show you how to get your items for cooking. The turtle leaf can be found here at Kroop's house, just come over here and you can get turtle leaves for free. Then you come all the way over here, and this is where some of the uh, problems for them from the tr trouble center uh, start coming in. This bubble bear has uh, a thing. Ah, fine weather sure does lift the spirits, but that you need a dry bouquet. This is where you would get the dry bouquet you need. You say yes, and you have to give him a hot dog from Glitzbill. You have to give them uh, two hot dogs and one moose cake, um, which is too much for a trouble, but he will give you a dry bouquet in exchange for a hot dog. And you can also use uh, dried bouquets to get basic items out of cooked um, items. Whenever you have a combination, you can actually just cook it up with a dry bouquet and you will get the base item. That's something that works. You can get a mushroom for 4 coins, which is actually cheaper than what you would get it in a regular store. And you can also get honey syrup here and a courage shell, as well as fire flowers. You can get all of those over here. And petal bird. Now, I'm going to go back to the sewers and I'm gonna go back to um, the great tree in Bugly Woods. Because even though there's no exclusive items to Bugly Woods, there's one exclusive item to the uh, to the great tree. And it's kind of annoying to get because you can only get one at a time. And you always have to get it the same way. Of course it would be weird if you had to do different things to get it. But it's annoying because it's a minigame. Kind of. And you always have to say the same exact thing in order to get this item. It's a mystic egg. The one that you get here by coming over here and talking to, not Punio, not the Elder, but to Petony. Oh Mario, you came back! Wow, the guy who saved the world came back just to say hi to me! Double wow! Hey, do you have some free time, Mario? I'm really bored. You wanna play with me? Sure, kid! Yes! That was way too many E's! Okay, okay, this is awesome! Ready to play Stomp Petony? You ask me any question you want, there isn't a question I can't answer. Come on! Okay. The only question that will work with this game is Mario likes which person the most. Yep, it's Princess Peach. Yay! You're right. And for playing with Petony, you will get a Mystic Egg. That is the only way in which you can get a Mystic Egg. And there's a ton of recipes that you can substitute Mystic Egg with. So if you want the Mystic Egg things, you'll have to come all the way over here to get a mystic egg once one at a time every single time why can't I jump thank you Mario every single time you will have to come back here and get one mystic egg at a time cook it up and then you can come back and get more now there's an other item that is kind of exclusive we've shown this off before but I, I feel like it's better if I show it up now if you come to kill hall key because this is the pipe to kill hall key there will be a tree right over here. Smash it and you will get a kill mango. Every time you can go up the screen and come back and push it, hit it, and you will get a kill mango every single time. Now there's another one. If you come all the way over here and scale up. Now let me see if I can avoid the fights. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I avoided the fights. Good. Now if you can come all the way over here, avoid all the fights and whatnot. Uh, come over here Yoshi. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while. Actually, no, because I was playing this two days ago. What the hell am I talking about? What am I talking about? 
Anyways, uh, if you manage to come all the way over here, every single time you want a coconut, you will be able to get a coconut from the island on the background right over here. Only thing you have to do, come over here, turn into paper, except for the fact I did it wrong. <laughs> I suck! Okay. Oh, come on now. Am I really going to lose all my health to that piranha? Because that would be annoying. Okay, there you go. Come all the way down here. Oh my god, please! Mario, don't do this to me! Why'd you do this to me, Mario? Why'd you do this to me? Okay, should not be all that much of a problem. There you go. Come all, all, all the way over here to the pipe, jump on it. Go to the background. Background. Hit it. You will get a coconut. Hit it again. You will get a second coconut. Jesus. There you go. Get two coconuts, get out of the way. And you can actually just say goodbye by jumping over here. <laughs> yep, it'll pop you right back up. Over here, apparently. Because the game says you suck, and that means you suck, and that means I suck. Not you guys, you rock. You're the best. So yeah, that's those are the two exclusive items to get over here at Kill Hole Key. Oh my god, how did you get up here? You were supposed to be down there. Jesus, okay. Those are the two that you can get all the way over here, but there's also an item shop over here at Kill Hall Key where you will get, uh, you will find super mushrooms and maple syrup. I think it's maple syrup. Um, no, it's honey syrup. But you can get it, so you get, you get my point. Uh, you get maple honey syrup for three coins, super shroom for twelve coins, which is cheaper, and a fire flower for even cheaper. You can also get an ice storm, but I will show you how to get them, uh, get it for cheaper in a little bit. And that's it for Kill Hole Key. We're off, but actually, no, yeah, I need to show. <laughs> no, yeah, um, uh, I need to show the pasta place over at the thing. Thing of the thing. Boop, at Potley Heights. Oh, thank you there, chest. You were helping me way too much by being in my way. <laughs> Anyways, you come all the way over here to Potley Heights near Poshley Sanctum and in front of the hotel you might remember there's a souvenir shop and if you don't remember it then here it is this is a souvenir shop if you come all the way over here and talk to this girl you can buy pasta fresh pasta and if you go and cook it up you can make spaghetti so there you go you got fresh pasta for 50 coins it's a little bit expensive but if you want all the recipes you gotta pay it um, and there you go We'll, we will be coming back here and talk to the little Bob and Gold Bob, but um, for now let's just leave uh, Poshly, Poshly Heights. Because it's too expensive and it's too posh. It's too posh for me. It's too posh. Let's go. Now, there's another couple exclusive things that you might want to get over here. Of course, you cannot get them right now because I am on... God dang it. Okay, let's do this. Let's show one, one fight. Boom! I am lucky! And let's do the thingamajig. There you go. I have the, um, the tutor for the thingamajig for the... Um, how do you call it? Stylish? Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay. But yeah, there's a little exclamation mark that shows up whenever there's a stylish command you can activate and I just wanted to learn them all, so... I did that. But there you go, there's the fight, there's the fight you get. <laughs> There's a fight that you get, and there's a match Koopa over the top. You didn't hit me, you didn't hit me, you are lame -o, you are lame -o. And we go all the way back up. And we appear right over here, and this is of no use to us. We have to be up again on that platform, so we're gonna go back up to the surface. Uh, before I leave, though, the one place where you can get cake mix for kind of cheap because cake mix is kind of a, like a chance item is right over here at the piano parlor you can speak to uh, this boo lady and there's a cake mix for six pianos which is the same as 18 coins if you want to buy them uh, and you can also get maple syrup over here for 14 and you can also get an ultra shroom and a jamming jelly for 67 piantas. If you're gonna go through this, I really recommend that you don't buy the piantas because it will be more expensive than not. 
I recommend that you buy 10 and you go through the uh, through the paper game a ton of times and it will be way easier and you'll be doing more stuff than just buying and you won't spend all your money on this because it will end up being more than 300 if you want all the recipes for jamming jelly and ultra shroom it will actually be like 600 coins if you want to get to 60 and then yeah it will be a ton so don't do it uh, just don't don't do it so there's that those are all... yeah, those are all the ingredients that you can get over here. I'm not gonna get anything though, we're just gonna leave. And let me show you this shop over here. There's actually pretty nothing, pretty much nothing that you need to buy from here. Because the Super Shroom is expensive, uh, the Bolt Shroom is the only thing that you can buy here that is actually a good price. But Life Shrooms you don't actually need, uh, Dried Shroom you don't really need, Dizzy Dial, Thunderbolt, no no can do, Mr. Sir. So, uh, yeah, the only thing you can buy here that is actually a good price is the Bolt Shroom. And that's it. So now let's go back down over here. I'm just uh, giving you a tour of the entire game now from the shops and, say and telling you where you can buy stuff for cheaper and cheaper and find other stuff. Um, but yeah, you can come all the way over here to the Rockport Sewers Town. Town of Majig. And over here in this shop uh, that I don't remember the name of, they got slow shrooms and gradual syrups. They also have ultra shrooms and jam and jelly. So if you don't want to grind in the games for these two items, you can always pay 100 and uh, to 100 and what was it? Uh, like 150 coins less for each. So you can get these here. Now that we've gotten those out of the way, we are going to go out this way again. Because we need to go to the Creepy Steeple. Yes, it's a little bit of a nuisance, but we have to go to the Creepy Steeple. All the way over there. Just to show you guys off how much I like you and I want you to get all your items for cheap. And to find all of the items that you need. We're going back to Twilight Town. Yeah, I like that little thing. Okay, now when you're here at, Creepy, uh, at Twilight Town, if you come over here and rest at the inn... Pay this guy up. Yes, I'll stay. 10 coins. Thank you, and I will enjoy my rest. You will get healed. You will get all your FP. You will get all your SP. And you will get a Peachy Peach. That is the only way to get Peachy Peaches on the, on the field, to my knowledge. I don't think there's any other way apart from getting into battles, and that's Chansey and whatnot. So, yeah, this is the only way I know. Apart from that, there's nothing over here in Twilight Town, but there's a shop, so if you want to compare prices as well in here, you can get a spite pouch, which you will also need for cooking. One, I, th I think. You got maple syrup, which is a little bit more expensive, but you got live shrooms, which are less expensive than the shop that is beside the, the Pianta Parlor. And you get super shrooms that are also less expensive than the Pianta Parlor for 15 coins, but uh, you can get them for less I think and kill whole key so that's the thing now let's go to Twilight Trail keep it going and keep a sneaking there's pretty much nothing on here on the Twilight Trail so yeah pretty much no mind let's pay no mind to all of this Ta-da! you can see me from all the way over there but you cannot get to me ha 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 now when you get all the way over here uh, you don't need to go out of paper mode or tooth or tooth paper mode paper tooth mode don't need to get out of those oh no oh no dang it <laughs> I don't really want to fight all these guys they don't give me any experience I will kill the guy on top oh I, I actually can't because I have a power plus I forget four for you and gulp the crazy daisy yeah we won't kill any of them but goodbye the crazy daisy charging up charging chuck and goodbye to you mr. sir Ta-da! got it I actually went through half of the pit of a hundred trials before starting the, these recordings because I didn't want you guys to think that I was super poor because of things, because it really is one of the things that drives you away from getting all the recipes and whatnot, having to spend all your money on them. Oh my god, you did not catch up with me! 
it really was one of the things that drove me off from doing the recipes during the Let's Play because I know that you can actually find uses for your money in this game. And they're really good uses and you can put them to really good use with the badges and whatnot. Boop -boop -boop. Didn't catch me, Mr. Hypercleft. Okay, we're all the, all the way over here at the Creepy Steeple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna enter the Creepy Steeple. And we're gonna go out the door. Yes, the door. The evil door. It's not evil though. And we're gonna charge through avoiding the zoopers. Because we don't want to fight the swoopers. And now uh, you see this little opening over here you can go through. All the way over to the back and there's this tree over here. And you will get a golden leaf. Every time you just exit the room, come back and you will get a golden leaf. That's how you get the golden leaves for your recipes. Now, let's leave this place because I don't like swoopers and I don't like group steeple even though the boss and the boss music are amazing and this is the place that got me stumped for ages with this game when I was a kid. Yeah, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and cut all that because, well, you guys don't need to see me go through the entirety of Twilight Trail all over again because that's really boring. There's pretty much nothing going over there except for enemies and yeah, you know, we had to backtrack through there a ton of times, so no need to see that. Now we're going back to the Rockport sewers, but then we're gonna go into Far Outpost. Yeah, that's right, we're going back to the Far Outpost over here. <laughs> oh my god, it's way too far away! Oh no! Well, yep, we're coming all the way over here, because... If we go back to the far actual far outpost, because this is far outpost, the oh my god, the road. No! Oh, dang it! I didn't really want to face you guys. There's too many of you, Mr. Clouds. Uh, you know what? Let's do supernova. Let's do it. Let's tap the A button. Tap 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 tap. It's a tap 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 revolution. Tap 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 tap. And once again, tap 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 tap. One last time, tap 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 tap. There you go. Die. You did. Using up all of my star power for just one star point. Yay! Because I'm lazy. Can you believe that, guys? I mean, I escaped it fair and square, and it still came back for me. Now we got it with these ones. Nope. There you go. Now we got only one more screen to go. Uh, 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 I did it. I ran away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming all the way over here to the far outpost. Jesus. As you remember, there was one recipe that needed that thing called um, Ruin Powder. This is the only place that you will be finding Ruin Powder at. And you can get the ice storm for only 6 coins over here. As well as some maple syrup and super shrooms might you need them, but I already showed you where to get them at a better price. Also a shooting star for 30 coins, because the one that you can get outside of the shop of the Assestis house is going for 36 coins, so you better get it from here if you want it cheaper. And apart from that, I only have one more place for you guys to go to if you want to get all the items for the recipes. Trust me, you want this if you want 100%, because, and even if you don't, it will help you decide a little bit better on, oh my god, equipment if you want the Pit of 100 Trials. Because a bit of oh my god, why are there so many? Why are there so many of you? Die monsters, you don't belong in here. You don't belong in this world. Jesus, why? I could have used Stampede. That was dumb. That was dumb on them, my, my part. Well, no, they would not have died anyway, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. And blah. Yeah, I'm a lucky dude. Okay, now let's let's go again with this. Uh, actually, quick hammer. Do that. Boom, bada, boom, ba, boom, ba. 
Ba ba boom. B I N G O Bingo. Haha. <laughs> we did not really need the replenishing of the health. I am talking like Fawful now. Let's call for S and P. And L N R L L. Yay! Well, he is whistling. That's the time for stylish. Take him out. There you go. Now we got 67. It's a number. Ah, uh, run away. I don't care for these coins. I do care for these ones. Okay, let's go. No time for any of the. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot about these guys. I forgot about them. I forgot about you. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> That's a thing that happens, guys. It's a thing that happens when it happens and it happens. Okay, last place that we're gonna need to go. Not really far away. I don't really need to do this because we need to go back to the surface. We already went to chapters 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the only one that is missing, basically, it's, well, it's 3 and, three and 8, but... What are you going to get in the last place? Nothing really, so you're just... The only one that is left is three, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to Glitzville. Ta-da! Except for the fact that it was super anticlimactic because of the fact that we're not going to Glitzville yet and now I'm still talking because I really need to fill up the time we are going not in Glitzville yet. I don't even know how to speak yet, but yeah, but still! We're going to Glitzville, guys! More climactic! There you go! Because that makes sense! <laughs> Skipping a cutscene so we can get there faster. <laughs> Even though the music's not gonna shut up and it's not gonna take us there directly. Now, there's yet another problem that we I had to solve off-screen uh, in order to get this. Now, this would take a ton of traveling and a ton of backtracking and whatnot, but this guy is the businessman over the uh, trouble center and he will ask you to get a code for his um, for his super top secret thing uh, briefcase or suitcase or whatever and the code is 2625 or 2526 but he will tell you it's the number of chairs in this house and in this house and in this house and in this house please because he apparently loves chairs and if you come talk to him, he will sell you a bottle of hot sauce for, I think, 10 or 20, 10 coins, I think. And if you come to the hot dog stand, you can buy one hot dog. Uh, these are not really a... But here you go, hot dog, and we had hot sauce. So yeah, you get all those, and that was perfect timing, because we those are the ones we can actually hold. And that's it, so those are the ones that you can get over here in uh, Glitzville. Now, the item shop here in Glitzville actually has one item that you can use in some of the recipes, which is a point swap. Uh, don't really recommend that you buy it, it's cheap, but don't really recommend that you buy it. Uh, it's really out of your way, and maybe you can use uh, the use for it, but it's only for one or two recipes, if that. So I don't really recommend that you come all the way over here. Just get poison shrooms and uh, I think uh, what, what was it called? A dried bouquet. Just get those and those should work perfectly. So yeah, those are all the ingredients that I should know or that I know that you need that are in very specific places. Uh, the rest of them you can get them by battling, by just going to a regular shop and just that. Basically, I told you where every ingredient is though. So that's a thing. Anyways, that's going to be everything for this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. However, as I've talked about these pretty much for a long while, next time we will be going inside of the Trouble Center house and we will be solving the rest of the troubles that there are over there because there's people that still need saving even though the world is saved. And that's it. That would be the 100% mark for us. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel if you really like the video. And I'll see you guys next time when we go solve the troubles of all the people. See you guys then.